For anyone that's trying to learn this character, I recommend definitely watching this video through till the end and hopefully it helps you guys out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoy and hopefully you guys can learn something from this video. Thanks. Alright guys, what's up? Shoutouts to everyone in the comments that was letting me know about this. Where basically, as you can tell by a title or the thumbnail, Tayuya can use her Doki summons, basically kind of like Sakon's Jutsu, which is his Rashomon, like a, like, a, like a mobile shield pretty much. Now, as a quick disclaimer, I only have one PS4 controller. The PS4 controller I'm using is controlling the Calm AI, and then my other controller is pretty much my fight stick, which you could only switch between left stick or D-pad functionality. So Tayuya won't be moving, and I'm pretty much just going to be using the D-pad function. So it's not going to be the best showcasing, but it's only because I have one controller. So right here, as we see... Obito's tilt does go through the Doki, but for Sakon, his Rashomon stops the Doki, I mean stops uh, the tilt completely. Now as you see here, the wood style charging lance jutsu is literally hitting her, but she does not get hit at all. Right here she will because she was too close, but right here, this is a cool thing, check this out. So if the charging lance hits the Doki, she gets the effect on her, but effectively takes no damage. That's really weird, huh? So right here, I'm just trying to set it up in a better position. I'm going to hit her farther away so I can continue showing you guys some things. So there you go. It's pretty much a shield that can attack. Pretty interesting. As you can see there, it stops Amaterasu's as well. And of course, it could also stop running attacks. It could stop Chakra Dashes. It could stop Rasengan. It could stop Fireball Jutsus. It's just up to you, again, like with the Rashomon Jutsu, to test things out and see what works and what doesn't. I'm just giving you a brief example. So here the Rasen Shuriken does hit because it has a big, you know, AoE or area of effect. Right now, as you can see, it's not going through. So there's that. And also, this whole time while your opponent, if your opponent tries to Chakra Dash at you and they hit that Doki, you can easily punish with your Projectile Jutsu. You can do, in fact, a full combo because they're already that close to you. So I feel like that's pretty much going to be Tayuya's playstyle and that's using her Doki summons to her advantage as shields and punishing appropriately. As you saw there, you can combo Jutsu into your projectiles attack, your projectile attacks. So that's gonna be very interesting to note. Also, if they do Chakra Dash into your Doki, you could just punish them by making that one attack. He does miss sometimes though. I mean, he's I mean he's blind, you know, gotta give him a break, but yeah. It also stops ultimates, as you see there. It completely stops his momentum. It stops Obito's momentum as well. But of course, um, big, big ultimate to hit like again in an area of effect kind of like this itachi's or uh shisui how it's like a big projectile or like a big shock wave obviously that'll still hit you he'll still hit you so be careful about that as you can see here as well it stops uh air dashes so basically it's just super effective at stopping any sort of momentum your opponent has just use it wisely so i hope this teaches you guys or gives you a basis of things to maybe practice on your own and learn this character a little better. So again, thanks to everyone that was pointing this out. Um, I just made this video, so now I can pretty much show everyone else that might not read the comments and say, hey, this is indeed a thing you can do. So leave a like rating. See you guys later.